Yes, uh, good morning, class 10C. And I think so we're almost on the final uh, leg of uh, the play, the proposal. So argument one, it took place between Ivan and Natalia. And the argument, it began over the ownership of Oxen Meadows, right? So they were arguing about uh, who owned Oxen Meadows. So what was uh, the argument? Yes, and according to Natalia, the Oxen Meadows, they belong to her family. But uh, what did uh, Ivan say? That it, his uh, aunt's grandmother, someone there, you know, she had uh, lent those uh, what uh, fields out to the peasants, so they and in, so they could uh, stay there. And uh, it had happened for so many years that those peasants they started thinking that uh, they belong to him only, or they belong to their uh, family only. Right, so uh, it is, uh, and then the argument it continues, and then they go on to the ancestors and talk, talking about their family and all, which shows that when you are angry, you forget your limits, which is very very important. Then when the argument is over, poor thing, uh, Ivan he's a, he's going to have feeling, he's just going to die. He has his palpitations, he has problems and all, and uh, uh, so he goes back to his house. Right. And after he has left, just imagine they've had such a bad argument. They're calling each other names. They're talking about their family, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then when, uh, uh, like, uh, Stepan uh, tells uh, Natalia that he had come to propose to you, she changes immediately and she says, "Call the man back, right?" And so he he also comes back. And uh, yes, yeah, so even he uh, like they you know started talking again. And now yes, yeah, so they talk about the hunting season, right? And then they start discussing about the dogs. Whose dog is Squeezer? Whose dog is Squeezer? Yes. Squeezer is Natalia's dog. And guess is? Guess is? Evan's dog, isn't it right? So both of them, they start arguing and, they, and she wonders why he's paid so much of money. And she feels that he's not a hunting dog at all. He's not fit for hunting because he is overshot right so there is a, his jaws are not of the same size as a result he cannot be a successful or a proper hunting dog so now once again the argument has taken a very wrong turn even is there feeling what uh, sick again his palpitations his breathing and all and now let us see now finally what is going to be the end of this story how is this matter going to be resolved and then after, once we have finished it, I want to discuss a few terms which are related to this play. So can we continue? Yes, ma'am, we can continue. We'd love to finish this play and see what happens here. And in real life, if we have uh, such argumentative people and people who are, they're always stretching an argument to their limits, it's not a nice thing, okay? Right. Now here, Squeezer is there, you know, like, uh, uh, even feels he's not a good hunting dog because when they had the hunting race last year, everyone was running after the fox and he started running after the sheep. Okay, so let's continue here. We we'll start from this page only, just to be on the safer side. Lomov, and with good reason, the dogs are running after a fox when Squeezer goes and starts worrying a sheep. It's not true, my dear fellow. It's not true, my dear fellow. I'm very liable to lose my temper. And so just because of that, let's stop arguing. You started because everybody is always jealous of everybody else's dogs. Yes, we're all like that. You too, sir, aren't blameless. You know, sooner begin with this, that, and the other, and all that. I remember every thing. I remember too. I remember too. What do you remember? My heart, my foot's gone to sleep. I can't, right? So he says that, see, we both are there arguing and you're talking about my dog, I'm talking and everybody is jealous of everybody else's dogs, right? So it's not only to the, everything that we have, you know, we're always jealous. And uh, he says that you go on from one thing and you start off with another, you know, just talking generally like here. But uh, now what has happened to even? My heart, my foot's gone to sleep. I can't. My heart? What sort of a hunter are you? If you have a weak heart, you can't be a hunter. 
you ought to go and lie in the kitchen oven and catch black beetles not go after foxes my heart yes really what sort of a hunter are you anyway you ought to sit at home with your palpitations and not go tracking animals you could go hunting but you only go to argue with people and interfere with their dogs and so on let's change the subject in case i lose my temper you're not a hunter at all anyway so yeah you're like look at you with your health and with your dog you can't be a hunter and you are, are a hunter you only go hunting to get in with the count and to intrigue oh my heart you're an intriguer so you go there because who's a count count is uh, you know like a person with a high uh, social position so you go there so you can talk to him you can be known to him you don't go for hunting you go to make contacts oh my heart you're an intriguer what i am an intriguer shut up intriguer boy pup old rat jesuit shut up or i'll shoot you like a partridge you fool everybody knows that oh my heart your late wife used to beat you my feet temples sparks i fall i fall see usko itni problem ho rahi hai phir bhi chup nahi ho raha he is not stopping to fight you know he's carrying on with the argument and calling him there and you're under the slipper of your housekeeper there there my heart's burst my shoulders come off where is my shoulder i die a doctor boy milk so fool i'm sick sick what sort of a hunter are you you can't even sit on a horse to a father papa what's the matter with him papa look papa ivan vasilevich he's dead so he's you know he's in extreme pain and he's fainted and these people are not realizing that this man is in pain and they're going on arguing i'm sick i can't breathe air he's dead pulls lo more sleep ivan vasilevich ivan vasilevich what have you done to me he's dead a doctor a doctor she's worried this man was supposed to marry her he had come to propose to her and now he's dead oh what is it what's the matter he's dead dead who's dead looks at lemo so he is my word what a, a doctor lifts a tumbler to lemo's mouth drink this no he doesn't drink it means he's dead and all that i'm the most unhappy of man why don't i put a bullet into my brain why haven't i cut my throat yet what am i waiting for give me a knife give me a pistol the move moves he seems to be coming around drink some water that's right i see stars mist where am i so yes yeah, so he was in great pain even now he's come to his senses and when he was there unconscious so stepan is thinking oh my god i'm such a bad father what have i done i should shoot myself i should kill myself i was there arguing with this person and he's come to propose to my daughter hurry up and get married and well to the devil with you she is willing he puts lemo's hands into his daughter she is willing and all that i give you my blessings and so on only leave me in peace so she says fine she is willing to get married and here right just uh, leave me alone now don't argue uh, what to whom she is willing well kiss and be damned to you he's a knight yes yes i'm willing he's Yeah, he's alive. Yes, yes, I'm willing. Kiss each other. Ah, uh, kiss who? They very nice too. Excuse me. What's it all about? Oh, now I understand. My heart, stars. I'm happy. Natalia Stepanovna. Ah, uh, my foot's gone to sleep. I'm happy too. What a weight off my shoulders. Oof. And so you know, yes, uh, Shubhakov is happy that his daughter there finally like. even it was not a formal proposal but somehow she has got to the point where both of them have agreed to marry each other but still you will admit now that guess is worse than schools better worse well that's a way to start your family bliss have some champagne he's better worse 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 shubhakov trying to shout it down champagne champagne so end of the play yes So what about it here? What what about uh, these two things? What about the anger management issues? Do you think they're going to be happy? They'll ever be a peaceful moment in their lives if they go on arguing like this? Yes. Are they going to lead a happy, peaceful life? No. If they keep on arguing like this, no, no, no. So how how do you think here? You know, like this is maybe very exaggerated situation, right? 
So this kind of a situation in very extreme circumstances, it would be that someone there, you know, arguing so much and then coming again and arguing and forgetting that he has to propose and all that, right? So this kind of a play where you have this kind of a comic behavior where it has been exaggerated. So this anger has been taken to the extreme limit. Okay, so here, I'll just write it down here. What is it called? It's called F-A-R-C-E, okay, right? So when we talk about these characters, each one of them has a bad temper. Do you think Stepan is a calm person? We thought the father, Right, he might be a calm person, he would be sensible enough to control these two, but he do, does he do anything like that? Does he do anything of the sort? No, in fact, in both the instances, he joined in the argument. And so the argument, it was stretched to its limits. It went on and on and on. Isn't it something that was not required? So of course, when, he's no, when he knows he's come for the second time, and he's come to propose to his daughter, he should have tried to take the situation in hand, but he would not give up and he went on arguing with that man, okay? Right, any doubts, any questions regarding this play? Any one of you? Any doubts? I'll discuss this summary again with you all. Let's see if uh, you can just go through these questions. What does Shubukov at first suspect that Lomov has come for? Is he sincere when he later says, and I've always loved you, my angel, as if you were my own son. Find reasons for your answer from the play. Who is Shubakov? Who is Shubakov? Yes, who is Shubakov? Natalia's father. Who is Lomov? He's the neighbor, right? Both of them, yes, they belong to good families. but And of course, they have agricultural or they have the land also. Tomorrow, I'll see if I can share a video with you all showing about the life in Russia, right? So we'll get an idea of the culture and about the life. Now, is he sincere? What does he think he's come for in the beginning? Does he know that he has come to propose? No, he finally thinks that he has come asking for money. Yes, well done, Nishta. Good answer. He's come asking for money. He wants to borrow money. And what does he think about him then? Oh, look at him. He's always coming here. But then when he comes to know that he's come to propose to his daughter, he... he, he, he There we have Shubakov says of Natalia, as if she won't consent, she's a loving cat, she's like a lovesick cat. Would you agree? Find reasons for your answer. So, yes, so in no way is it suggested that Natalia is there, you know, like thinking about Lomov and all, but she's there very busy in household work and she's very concerned about her land and property and everything. But uh, when her father tells her that he has come to propose, and so she's ready to accept his proposal, isn't it? Find all the words and expressions in the play that the characters used to speak about each other and the accusations and insults they hurl at each other. For example, Lomov in the end calls Shubukov an intriguer. And Shugo, uh, Shubukov has himself called Lomov a malicious double-faced intriguer. Again, Lomov begins by describing Natalia as an excellent housekeeper, not bad looking, well ed educated, right? So yes, they call each other all these names and they keep on calling each other all these things here. And uh, then now think of five adjectives your own to describe each character in the play. Can you think of five adjectives? Can you think of five adjectives combined? What can you say about these characters? What about Lomov? How can we describe him? Yes, what about Lomov? What about Lomov? Yes, come on, give me adjectives to describe him. Hurry up, come on, you know what adjectives are? Yes, Lomov is arrogant. Yes, he's arrogant, very good. What else? What else? What is the one thing all three of them have in common? regarding the behavior. What could be? The short-tempered, yes, right? 
yeah then uh, what uh, about uh, you know like lomo he thinks i'm not well i have to get married so he he's decided that okay fine natalia is there she's my neighbor i've known her for so many years she's a very practical person also is very practical yes can we say they are childish in their behavior they are going like kids you know the way you would argue with your brothers and sisters isn't it you don't expect mature people to do the childish in the behavior also yes any other adjective that could be described you know there of course they're short tempered immature very good uh, harshit yes they are immature they're foolish then they they're not at all mature here they don't seem to be well groomed right then they're not at all calm and composed no they don't think before they speak it goes blah 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 isn't it right and they end up creating problems for others and uh, what about here you know like when you are they're so proud of your pet dog and you don't want anybody to criticize it they possessive they very possessive yes they are then they are not at all uh, you can uh, say sensible when it comes to that argument they're talking about the elders and the ancestors so they don't have any respect are they respectful are they respectful can you say that they not isn't it right so yeah so right they are possessive about the pet dogs immature when it comes to their their childish in their behavior of course quarrelsome they are they quarrelsome they are they quarrelsome that is they they're not practical at all they're not sensible at all right only yes the mob seems to be a little sensible but uh, when it comes to arguing just look at him he's having so much of pain but he's not giving up that argument so we will not call him you know like a very sensible person isn't it yes now can you now imagine what these characters will quarrel about next what do you think what do you think they're going to argue about next any idea because they are there you know arguing constantly and uh, any little minor topic was there enough to trigger off their argument yes so they are there yeah any other topic would be there anything it could be like when are we going to get married so they want to decide the date here uske liye bhi there are going to be lots and lots of arguments isn't it right so anything could be the reason here we can say that yes it, it could be that also right so what do you have to say about here in this play regarding anger management why is it important to control our anger yes think about it we'll discuss this tomorrow now here when you tell me here, look at these play you know and some words are there which have been translated it is a russian play and in the translation like my darling or my treasure we don't talk like that to an older person talking like that so it is there in translation isn't it it's more of russian than in english now here look at these words now can you tell me that what do you think we'll talk about the pronunciation also we we'll talk about the uh, yes sir economic issues about marriage anything they can argue about yes absolutely correct what is palpitations palpitations your irregular heart to beat pedigree pedigree so speak it along with me you speak in your rooms as we speak let's see the pronunciation pedigree yes a pure bred isn't it of good quality you know the like especially you talk about your pets here so you know the pedigree you know the parentage malicious malice hatred malicious accustomed used to right so you you become accustomed to your friends habits right you become accustomed to me maybe the way i teach or not interfere interfere interrupt stop someone or you know yeah poke your nose principle what do you think this mean principle what does this mean it means your rules very good it's your beliefs the rules that you think about embezzlement what is embezzlement 
We've read about it in the newspaper also. You come across it here, embezzlement, fraud, cheating, temporary, for a short time. Implore, request you, evidence. What is evidence? The signs here you have, proof. Architect, what does an architect do? What does an architect do? Design buildings. Behavior, we know this. Thoroughbred, pure. Misfortune, unlucky. Neighbors, your person lives next to you. Documents, evidences, important papers, isn't it? Right, 